covering the news that matters to you. It's been a cloudy, foggy day to close out the work week. You can see flames from our tower, as you see on this video. Turn to Local News 8. Local News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 657. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, four wildfires are currently burning in our local area. The Moose Fire has grown 1,000 acres in 24 hours. The Ross Fort Fire in the Sawtooth National Forest has more than doubled in the last 48 hours and is only 4% contained. And the Sage Hen Fire is just over 1,200 acres and firemen are trying to firefighters are trying to get in that one fully contained by this evening. The Sawtell Peak fire in Island Park is currently 20% contained and at 34 acres. Number two, due to the heat, Bonneville School District 93 will monitor classrooms today to decide if it will cut Wednesday down to a half day school due to the heat. And number three, two car enthusiast groups will be candle lighting, lantern send off and a memorial car show in honor of Nicholas Bird, the victim on the Idaho Falls shooting over the weekend. No plans have been finalized. You can find more stories on localnews8.com. Let's head over to the First Alert Weather Center and check back in with Evan. It's all about the heat this afternoon. It's going to be dangerous, honestly, at times because we could be reaching triple digits heading into the Magic Valley. We'll show you that in just a second. So enjoy the cool morning while it's here. 49 in Idaho Falls, 44 in Jackson, 51 in Pocatello, 47 in Salmon, 53 in Burley, 58 in Dubois. This is 34 up towards West Yellowstone at the moment, but here's what we're looking at this afternoon. Highs in the mid to upper 90s in the Snake River Plain. There are those triple digits of the Magic Valley. We're up to 98 up towards Salmon. A little bit cooler out towards Jackson, but still 97 in Preston and 95 in Montpelier. Here's your eight-day forecast. Two more days of dealing with this heat. Then it starts to go downhill. 90 on Thursday, down to 77 on Friday to hit us with highs in the upper 70s and mid 80s for next weekend. And even then, we're getting our second chance of victory by getting in rain chances possible for next week. A lot of models are hinting at a good amount of scattered rain showers to produce a good amount of precipitation heading into next work week. That's later down the road, though. We got to take our victories while we get them. And unfortunately, our first victory in getting the cooler temperatures cooler is not going to happen until Wednesday. All right. Yeah, stay cool. Thanks for being with us. See you at noon.